Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of NASCAR Underdogs, Johnny Benson. Jonathan Thomas Benson Jr. is a retired stock car driver and has raced across all of NASCAR's top three national touring series, Cup, Xfinity, and Truck Series. He has won championships and races in almost everything he's run except the NASCAR Cup Series. He did find a way to victory lane once or twice through pure ability in the Cup Series. Here's the story of NASCAR underdog Johnny Benson. Benson started racing late models at Berlin Speedway in Michigan, where he became a champion before moving up to the ASA Series in 1990. In his rookie season, he scored one pole, he led almost 200 laps, and scored eight top 10 finishes on his way to winning the Pat Schumer Rookie of the Year Award in 1990. Then in 1991, the uh, ASA AC Delco Challenge Series, once again, he competed in with uh, in the Throat Motorsports number 21 Valvoline Chevrolet. This season, their best finish was second four times, along with 13 top 10 finishes overall. They ended the season fourth in final points. By 1993, Benson remained with the number 21 Valvoline Chevrolet team, and they were able to win the ASA Championship in 1993. Benson also made his Xfinity Series debut in 1993, driving for Ernie Irvin's number 41 Delco Remy Chevrolet at Michigan. They started 20th, but then finished 40th after, after he flipped his race car in an early crash. After Jack Sprague and Base Motorsports parted ways, it opened up the door at the number 74 team. He made three starts for Base Motorsports in their number 74 Staff America Chevrolet near the end of the 1993 season. His best start was third at Hickory and his best finish was 18th at Atlanta. The 1994 season started to really get serious for Johnny Benson. He finally had a full-time ride in the Xfinity Series. Base Motorsports signed him to drive their number 74 Staff America Chevrolet full-time. Their best start was second in the summer at South Boston. Their best finish was first in the fall at Dover. This was victory was the team's first ever victory, as well as Benson's first career victory. Overall, they scored zero poles, one win, six top fives, and nine top tens on their way to a solid sixth place in final points. Benson, Benson also won Rookie of the Year that year in, in the Xfinity Series. Benson's career continued to grow in 1995. As the, as the 74 team in 1995 landed a corporate sponsor in Lipton T. Their best start was first in the fall at Rockingham, and their best finish was first twice in the spring at Atlanta and Hickory. Overall, they scored one pole, two wins, 12 top fives, and 19 top tens, en route to their first championship. Benson also raced on the newly formed NAS in the newly formed NASCAR Super Truck Series. Now, the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. He made eight attempts, qualifying for seven of them, driving a number 18 performance friction Chevrolet owned by Kurt Orig. They did perform, honestly, pretty well, with their best start and finish of second, coming at IRP in the summer. Overall, they scored two top fives and five top tens. After finding such success in the Xfinity Series, the Cup Series owners came and call them. Benson decided to make the move up to the Premier Series in Motorsports, the NASCAR Cup Series, in 1996. Benson was behind the wheel of the number 30, Pinto Pontiac, owned by Mahari Racing. They made all but one of the races, 30 out of 31, key and queuing in the spring at Talladega. Their best start was first in the spring in Atlanta. Their best finish was fifth in the summer at Pocono. Overall, they scored one pole, zero wins, one top five, and six top tens, on their way to finishing 21st in final points. Not to mention the fact that Johnny Benson became NASCAR Cup Series Rookie of the Year in 1996. He also made one start in the Xfinity Series for his same team he drove for in the Cup Series at Homestead, starting 30th and finishing 42nd. Benson also made four more starts for Kurt, Kurt Horig's Craftsman Truck Series team. His best start was first at North Wilkesboro, and their best, and their best finish was second at Phoenix. Overall, they scored one top five and four top tens in four starts. Really, honestly, 
great run from Benson in the Truck Series in 96. So, with the experience gained in his rookie season, Benson was able to build on that while remaining the driver of the number 30 Pittsville Pontiac for one more season. Their best start was first in the summer at Michigan, and their best finish was seventh twice in the summer at Indy and in the, in the fall at Phoenix. Overall, they scored one pole, zero wins, zero top fives, and eight top tens. Johnny and the team nearly missed the top, barely, narrowly missed the top ten in points, finishing 11th in final points. He did, once again, make one cross the truck series start in Kurt Roaring's number 18, Dana Corporation Dodge. They ran, they made one start in the fall at Martinsville, starting 15th and finishing 34th. The following season, Benson thought his career had finally landed a top-tier ride. Well, in some ways, that was true. But Benson, Benson's newly formed Roush Racing number 26, Cheerios Ford team. Their best start was second in the fall at Rockingham, and their best finish was fourth in the spring at Las Vegas. The team did d &Q their first attempt, their day, the Daytona 500. Overall, they scored zero poles, zero wins, three top fives, and ten top tens on the way to finishing 20th in final points. Benson also made two Xfinity Series starts for base motorsports, the same team he won the 1995 Xfinity Series championship with. His best start was 19th, and his best finish was 7th, both in the number in, in the 26th South America Chevrolet. Everyone believed Benson would take the next step up this season in 1999 after a pretty strong 1998 behind the wheel of the number 26 Curious Ford for Ralph Racing. Their best start was second in the spring at Darlington, and their best finish was seventh twice in the spring at Dover and in the fall at Loudoun. Overall, they scored just two top tens and finished 28th in final points. Once again, Johnny made some extended series starts for base motorsports, seven in the number 26 base motorsports Chevrolet, and six in the number 33 Bayer Alka-Seltzer Chevrolet. 13 starts in all. His best start was seventh in the fall at Phoenix. And his best finish was 6th in the fall at Rockingham. Overall, 1 top 10. At the conclusion of the 1999 season, Roush Racing and Johnny Benson parted ways. As the calendar flipped from the, from the 1900s to the 2000s, for the new century came a new ride for Johnny. Tyler Jet Motorsports, a team that was formed out of the remains of Darrell Waltrip Motorsports, in the number 35 Tabasco fiasco ordeal. Benson showed up to Daytona without a sponsor, but would pick up Lycos.com, a sponsor, as a sponsor of a number 10 Pontiac for him. Tyler Jet Motorsports owner Tim Beverly sold the team to MV2 Motorsports after race 18 at Loudoun. Then, starting at race 20 at, at Indianapolis, the team picked up sponsorship from Aaron's Rent and RCA. His best start was second in the fall at Darlington, and his best finish was second twice in the spring at Bristol and in the fall at Dover. They did d &Q in the spring in Atlanta. For 2001, MBV Motorsports brought Johnny Benson back to drive the number 10 now Valvoline Pontiac full time. It became MBV Motorsports because Valvoline wanted to own a part of the team that they sponsored. So instead of MB2, it's MBV now. This season, my father actually got to spend the weekend and be in the pits during the race with the number 10 Valvoline team. It was an awesome time. I was in the same race. It was my first actual cup race. The 2001 Brickyard 400 from Indianapolis Motor Speedway. We watched Benson finish third that day. His best start was second in the spring at Las Vegas. And his best finish was third three times. In the, in the spring at Texas, in the summer at Indy, then in the fall at Rockingham. Overall, they scored zero poles, zero wins, six top fives, and 14 top tens. On the way to finishing 11th of final points. Next next year, in 2002, Benson returned to the number 10 Valvoline Pontiac full-time. He did end up getting injured and missed five races. His best start was second in the summer at Loudoun, and his best finish was first in the fall at Rockingham. This was his first and only NASCAR Cup Series victory. Overall, they scored zero poles, one win, three top fives, and seven top tens on his way to 29th in final points. Johnny did make one Xfinity Series start, in the number 31 Whalen Chevrolet for Ted Marsh at Richmond. He started and finished 43rd. For 2003, MBV Motorsports brought back Benson for one more season to drive 
the number 10 Valvoline Pontiac full time. Their best start was second in the spring at Rockingham, and their best finish was fourth in the fall at Homestead. Overall, they scored two top fives and four top tens on their way to 24th in final Cup Series points. At the conclusion of the season, MBV and Benson parted ways. That following season, Johnny started, started the season driving the number one yellow transportation Dodge, owned by James Finch, on the first ten races of the Xfinity Series season. And one start in John, John Reiser's number 17 Bayer Ford at Kentucky, starting 32nd and finishing 29th. His best start was first in the spring at Rockingham. His best finish was fourth in the spring at Texas. Overall, he scored one pole, zero wins, one top five, and four top tens. Vincent also made four starts for James Tension's number 09 Muskegon Game, Gaming Dodge in the Cup Series. His best start was 24th, and his best finish was 27th, both in the spring at Daytona. Then, starting halfway in the end of the season, I raced 13 at Michigan. Benson started driving the number 26, 23 truck from Bill Davis Racing in the Craftsman Truck Series. His, his best start was 7th in the fall at Texas, and his best finish was 2nd also in the fall at Texas. Overall, he scored 0 poles, 0 wins, 5 top 5s, and 8 top 10s. Bill Davis Racing and Johnny Benson went full-time racing in the Craftsman Truck Series in 2005 in the number 23 Toyota Certified Toyota Truck. His best start was second in the fall at Phoenix, and his best finish was second in the spring at Texas. Overall, he scored zero poles, zero wins, six top fives, and ten top tens, en route to a tenth place points finish in final truck series points. Benson also made three Cup Series starts, two for Michael Waltrip and double zero. His best start was 21st at Bristol, and his best finish was actually 42nd in Michigan. He made one start in Bill Davis' number 23 Challenger Farm Equipment Dodge in the fall at Atlanta, starting 19th and finishing 28th. He made four Xfinity Series starts, one for Armando Fitz in his number 40 Ferris Industries Dodge in the summer at Nashville, starting 22nd and finishing 18th. Then three starts for Mike Smith's number 67 Panasonic Dodge. His best start was 39th in Michigan and his best finish was 38th in Homestead. Next season, in 2006, Johnny Benson returned to the number 23 Toyota Certified Toyota Dodge, Toyota truck, owned by Bill Davis. His best start was first in the fall at Phoenix, and his best finish was first five times in the spring at Michigan and Milwaukee, then in the summer at Nashville and Loudoun, then in the fall at Phoenix. Overall, they scored one pole, five wins, 13 top fives, and 17 top tens, on their way to second and final points. In the midst of a career rebirth in the Craftsman Truck Series, Johnny Benson returned to drive the number 23 Toyota Certified Used Vehicles Toyota full-time in the Truck Series once again for the 2007 season. His best start was second in the fall at Homestead, and his best finish was first four times in the spring at Milwaukee, in the summer at Bristol and Gateway, then in the fall at Homestead. Overall, he scored zero poles, four wins, 12 top fives, and 19 top tens, on their way to third in final points. Benson also made three Cup Series starts, one in number 46 for Jeff Weiler, and two in, in number 36 for Bill Davis. His best start was 30th in the fall at Phoenix, and his best start was 36th also in the fall at Phoenix. This was his final career Cup Series start. He also made his final career Xfinity Series start at Milwaukee, starting 7th, finishing 9th. Driving the number one Mikasuki Gaming Gaming Chevrolet, owned by James Finch. For 2008, Benson returned for one last full-time season in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. But at the time, no one knew that, that this would end up being his final full-time season. It definitely wasn't due to performance. His best start was first five times in the spring at Mansfield, Milwaukee, and Memphis, and in the summer at Loudoun, then in the fall at Atlanta. Their best finish was first five times, in the spring of Milwaukee, then in the summer at Kentucky, IRP, and Nashville, then in the fall at Martinsville. Overall, they scored five poles, five wins, 14 top top fives, and 18 top tens, on his way to the Craftsman Truck Series Championship in 2008. Sadly, due to the economic crash of 2008, the team ended up shutting down, leaving Benson without a full-time ride. 
But at the start of the 2009 season, driving the number one for Red Horse Racing. He only ran, well, like the first eight races. His best start was second in the spring at Fontana. And his best finish was second in the spring at Kansas. Overall, in eight races, he scored three top fives and four top tens. In 2010, Benson made his last five starts in the Craftsman Truck Series. He made one start for, in Danny Gill's number 95, starting ninth and finishing eighth at Daytona. He made three starts for the number 15 for Billy Ballou, with a best start of fourth at Dover and a best finish of fifth twice at Martinsville in Kansas. Then he made his final Craftsman Truck Series start at Texas, driving for Kyle Busch Motorsports, starting 13th and finishing 10th. Overall, Johnny Benson made 274 Cup Series starts, scoring one win, 18 top fives, and 58 top tens, and two poles, with a best points finish of 11th in 1997. Then in the Xfinity Series, he made 91 starts, scoring three wins, 19 top fives, and 35 top tens, as well as the 1995 Xfinity Series Championship. Then in the Crestman Truck Series, he made 138 career starts, scoring 14 wins, 5 poles, 58 top 5s, and 90 top 10s, as well as the 2008 Crestman Truck Series Championship. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of NASCAR Underdogs, Johnny Benson. Thanks for watching. Take care.